Alright, so we, uh, we have this, um, this object now in ZBrush and uh, due to our last um, operation we uh, hit divide a couple of times without the smooth modifier uh, engaged and it's given us these sorts of um, sharp corners here um, on our edges and I'll just show you uh, one little trick um, or technique to uh, uh, to try and get those back to sort of being a little bit more smooth. Now this is just one way to do this um, as you become more and more familiar with ZBrush uh, I'm sure you'll probably think of um, different ways to do to do this. Uh, perhaps even better ways to do this. This is just um, this is just one way that I uh, I came up with um, in between lessons, um, uh, just playing around. So first thing I'm going to do is hold down Control and Shift, and I'm going to click the mouse on this surface here uh, to hide everything else, and then I'm going to click again with Control and Shift just to reverse that selection. So now we have all of these uh, faces. Um, the, the outside groups are all visible and the inside surface is invisible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down control which um, switches us over to uh, masking mode and uh, with control held down I'm going to drag a selection box around um, all of our visible um, groups and you can see that we've got a, a group, uh, we've got a, um, a mask. This uh, dark shading here is masked off areas uh, and we, uh, we have that around uh, the polygons that we have uh, visible. I'll just bring back the, um, the central um, surface and you can see that um, the masking actually falls off um, uh, around these edges here and so um, the areas which aren't darkened are, um, are actually able to be affected. Those that are darkened uh, should be um, completely protected and those that are partially so um, they should be um, partially protected. Uh, just to um, show you what I mean I'll switch back to the standard brush and uh, if we uh, move around this edge here you can see um, not really a very pretty um, example of, uh, of what ZBrush can do but you'll notice that it um, it fell off in this area and doesn't affect uh, the side area here so that's um, that's uh, just an example of how the um, the masking works so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to uh, my brushes um, and I'm going to pick the um, smooth brush um, now, uh, in other brush uh, modes, you can get to this by pressing the shift key, uh, but pressing the shift key here, it can be a little bit, um, uh, it doesn't look too bad there, but uh, it can be a little bit uh, heavy. So what I like to do is just go into the smooth modifier uh, or the smooth brush and bring it down in um, Z intensity. Uh, just down to uh, to sort of uh, some sort of um, low teens number there, and um, we can switch off RGB. It doesn't affect it, but uh, just sort of uh, stops it being too confusing. And then um, with the uh, with the intensity taken down. Now before I um, I start drawing on this. Um, I am going to make this model symmetrical and so what I want is for us to have um, uh, mirror symmetry across this uh, this axis uh, from this side to this side uh, which is in fact the x-axis. Um, you can, uh, let's see, it's under transform, you can activate symmetry and uh, with activating symmetry you have X symmetry which is what we particularly want but um, you can also have Y symmetry and Z symmetry now uh, you need a, a symmetrical model for it to work effectively you can see that with X and uh, was it Y that I switched on? X and Y um, that we do have four cursors operating but uh, two of them are sort of out in outer space but if you were working on a sphere or something like that, you'll be able to um, to uh, uh, use um, any of these sorts of um, 
the, these axes of symmetry to to get what you want. Now um, the hotkey, which, which is what I use more often, is the X key, and um, you'll notice that X just uh, switches it on and off. Um, now with that selected, um, just uh, and with the smooth brush, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to smooth out these ridges on the surface here. And you can see that that has uh, taken the um, those hard creases or hard corners and um, visible edges there, and it's just smoothed them out a little bit. But um, unfortunately, with our, the masking that we've used, it hasn't come quite to the end here. If we just turn off our frame, you can still see the slightest of creases, slight little corners here at the edge of our object. So what I'm going to do to try and fix that, um, now this is all theory, I haven't actually um, tried uh, doing this yet, I just uh, came up with the idea and uh, decided I'd jump right into the lesson and give it a go, so I could fail horribly here. Um, but what I'm going to try to do is I will, um, first I'll um, hold down the control key to go into the mask um, cursor mode. I'm just going to click um, out in open space and that is going to reverse our mask and then I'm going to switch off perspective and I'm going to just uh, drag this so that it's um, it's flat with the uh, with the axis uh, in, uh, in our viewport. I'm then going to come up to our brush and I'm going to select the move uh, brush now uh, move, I'll just uh, show you what that does um, here, is we can move around polygons in this, in this fashion um, just with our cursor and it, and it uh, moves in a similar way to, to a, uh, the translate tool but um, uh, sort of like uh, dragging a magnet around our, uh, the points in our scene. So I'm just going to scale up just a little bit and I'll move up to here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these points and I'm going to just oops hang on um, just go back to the I'm just holding down shift to um, to line up with the grid and um, as long as I use uh, the move um, the move button there, I shouldn't have too many problems. You'll notice that when we get into sort of the, the more sort of hardcore elements of um, of this that uh, I tend to um, shut up for a little while because I'm just sort of focusing on the um, on the operations that I'm that I'm performing so um, do not adjust your speakers or your headphones. It's just me um, getting lost in my work. Generally just having a good time. And there we go. And you can see that we have a nice sort of um, a nice uh, curved edge there. Uh, it is um, back a little bit from the surface. I'll just switch perspective back on and um, uh, unscale the object. But you can see that we have that nice sort of uh, smooth line there. And as I said before, I um, I didn't actually um, try that out before. I just sort of thought that maybe that would work, and luckily it did. So um, so there we go. Uh, now with that um, with that done, um, I'm going to uh, switch off our mask by dragging a mask in empty space. And um, we can we can go over these and uh, and smooth these um, these edges in the next lesson. Uh, but for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, well we we can save that for the next lesson. Um, so I'll uh, I'll see you then.